Have you ever read a story on Reddit and realized that's me they are talking about? What was it? Not Reddit, but one time I googled myself and found a bunch of entries that a guy I worked with had written about me on his live journal. I already knew he had a crush on me, so it wasn't entirely out of left field, but it went into much more detail about his feelings for me. It was weird, but also kind of interesting to see some of our interactions from his perspective. I never told him that I found it, because I didn't want to embarrass him and he must have eventually taken it down or made it private because it doesn't come up anymore. I ran across my ex complaining about me in an Ascredit thread a while ago. I recognized their username and felt like crap cause I thought we had been chill for a long time but we. I read a comment my ex made about having a lot more money now that he was single. Which was strange to me, because I paid our rent, utilities, bought our groceries, drove us everywhere, bought him gifts often, etc. Maybe he was trying to walk in my shoes, because I definitely had more money after leaving him. Once I was high and on a credit and read a comment about something that had happened to me, I was like WTF, that guy has had absolutely the same experience as me, then I read the username and it was me who wrote it. Whoa, I also like nice butts. Kind of the opposite but here we go. A lovely bearded gentleman ran to help me catch a train last week in Toronto. He saw me on the wrong platform about 15 minutes before the train and he ran back to let me know. We ended up missing it but he helped me find the right platform and chatted for close to an hour with me waiting for the next one. Just such a stand up guy. He's a frequent redditor apparently and a huge ask reddit buff so I'm pretty sure he may see this. So hi, and thank you, you helped me out so much that day man. Such a solid Canadian experience. As a Canadian, we have all types when it comes to trains. Personally I often hold doors for the entirety of the crowd of people getting off at my stop. But there are also homeless people shouting profanities at people and someone loudly proclaiming his having crap himself. He would fit in at our Tifusaka a year or two back. To his friends. I overheard some people talking about some guy selling a trebuchet on Craigslist. I was currently selling the trebuchet, I needed to get it out of my garage. Hi it's me, the trebuchet. Not Reddit, but years ago I changed my name, it was unique. Two days later I was looking at news headlines on my then Yahoo homepage, and I see a story from CNN that said, man legally changes his name to they. It took me a minute to realize it was my story, and that the news had gone national. Definitely different. 11 years ago, I googled my name followed by is and actually came across a message board where someone who apparently knew me was telling his internet friends about how I looked like a certain actress, knew it was me because of my unique name, spelling, and he mentioned what country I was living in at the time. My inner detective couldn't let it go and I ended up contacting the most inquisitive of the posters to figure out who this was. Freaked out both that stranger and the guy I knew. Oh I should do this. I have a pretty unique name, comma no results found, aww. Related, but not exactly the same, I was a Chicago cop, in a very bad area, and have lots of stories, retired 25 years ago, at an event with off duty cops doing security, one young aggressive cop tells my wife and I the exact story that happened to me, with the same punchline, was astounded. I went to tell a story once when I was out with a group of friends. Basically I like to tell shock stories from my childhood but with a humorous spin to give my friends a laugh. One of the guys there interrupted me to continue telling my story, a story I'd never told anyone before. He just started making up details. That got really awkward. Not me but I found a story that someone wrote about their worst acid trip. It was my college roommate telling the story of his terrible night that I had witnessed in person. Lee I Yank. Actually, yeah, one of my female friends were an avid redditor and made a post on our relationships somewhere along the lines of should I 18f dump him 19 beaters for not being committed enough. We weren't even dating, just casually seeing each other. Also, very much in agreement about it. She didn't know I also was active here, so I guess she never figured I knew her Reddit name and could cross check when it felt similar. I never told her, but was weird. 
About a year ago a guy posted in a thread about crazy college stories about a dude lighting a fire in somebody else's dorm and how he had killed himself shortly afterwards. I lived in that dorm hall, and the dude lived in the room across the hall from mine. It was pretty crazy. I got chewed out, and later blocked, by the admin on a gossip forum for asking a really benign question. His her reaction was so ridiculous, I really couldn't believe it. A few days later, I was roaming around a related sub here, and found that someone commented on how crazy the admin went when someone asked the question I had asked. Good knowing I wasn't the only one blown away. While I haven't read a story and went they are literally talking about me there was one time I was reading about butthole exes and what kind of balls they did that made me go, oh frick, I'm pretty much one of these guys. I ended up messaging my ex that I had been terrible to and apologized for my behavior. <laughs> Throw away for obvious reasons. My fiance and I had a messy breakup. That didn't need to happen. Worst case of miscommunication ever. A few months before our wedding. And we knew each other's usernames. Which means I can see her comments about me. It's painful to say the least. You're both adults. It's never too late to sit yourselves down. Talk about what happened and why, and build on it. And My ex posted on Tifu after I broke up with him and asked him to move out. He instructed others on how to make sure they don't lose the person they love for no good reason. It was good to see he realized what a series of mistakes he had made. But it was less of a Tifu and more of a for months I've been freaking up. I'm at some regional Burning Man hippie fest earlier this year, convinced by my wife to go with some friends. I get real drunk on free booze most of the weekend and we end up in this tent called Sound Puddle. Bunch of freaking hippies were trying to sing Bowie, Pink Floyd, all sorts of classic crap, but no one knows anything outside of the hooks. Meanwhile a topless woman is leaning up against her boyfriend, who is lazily playing with her tea. I say alright M. You don't know the words to these classic rock songs, but I guarantee that you know All Star from Smashmouth and then every mother in there sings every freaking word to All Star by Smashmouth. One dude even laying in the record scratches and guitar solo. Meanwhile T McGee is still getting rubbed up something fierce by her man. We wrap it up and I say this was a great lesson in how anyone can affect change in the world. Smashmouth wrote that crap song in like an hour 15 years ago and all of you knew every word. A friend sent my wife a screenshot from the Facebook group aligned with the fest and some hippie listed this interaction as his favorite memory of the weekend. This might not be what you're asking for, also not on Reddit. Read an article in Popular Science when I was 11 that described a lot of things about my personality very accurately, and I felt like oh my god this is me to a T. It was an article about the symptoms of Asperger's syndrome. No one told me I had been diagnosed years before. On the other hand, when I was around 10 I was reading an article about prostate problems, and I was concerned that some of the symptoms fit me. I told my parents I was worried about my prostate, and they wouldn't stop laughing. I am female. I once saw a Facebook post of mine on our atheism. It basically said how if my life goes south and I fail to make my dreams come true I will just become a Christian missionary. Whoever posted it took my satire seriously and took it to a very dark and cynical place. To be fair I wrote it with a bit of cynicism myself as a snarky commentary at what I saw in church, but holy crap snacks that subcircle jerked all over that post and set the remains on fire. It sucks this might get buried, but I was once on this band subreddit reading people talk about the show the night before that I was at. Someone said that the show was awesome. Big complained about these ashats, his words not mine, that were in front of him, myself and my friends, because we were at the barricade and we held our ground and wouldn't let him pass. He claimed no one was entitled to those spots so we should have let him through. I called him out for not only being a drunken idiot that pee off everyone who was around him, but also he was no more entitled to those spots than we were at this general admission show. We showed up 5 hours early to get these spots. Other people at the show who were near us who we talked to before and after vouched for us and basically tore that guy a new one. He deleted his comments not long after. Not Reddit, but I roll. Years ago I got divorced. Fast forward a few months later and I'm at a party with a bunch of people I don't really know. We're standing around talking in the kitchen, as you do, and one guy says hey, did you guys hear that scouts out got divorced? 
Now, I have no idea who this guy is, nor does he know me, my best friend, who was there says oh, yeah, I did hear that, do you know him? Guy goes oh yeah, I do, I heard it was a crazy story, so my buddy starts egging him on, I'm just standing there holding in the laughs, I finally say you, you know that's me right, like, I am scouts out, he turns bright red and tries to act like he knew it was was messing with me, he wasn't, it was pretty weird. Actually, yeah, a long time ago there's this guy that posted this comment in a what's the worst thing that you've ever said on a date. He twisted up the story so if I could clarify, I was dating a Japanese girl and she was being asked about how her family was doing after the tsunami, a good time after, commented on how her previous BF had been lost in the tsunami. I casually say, it's okay, as you can see there's plenty more in the sea. I once found my brother's reddit account while browsing through random threads in our all. He talked about some documentaries that he said change me. That was when I realized he was actually right. I replied to a question in a sub ages ago. Then, years later, I googled the question I replied to and found my answer. Thinking dang this is so correct before realizing it was me. I've also had a friend read a comment of mine. I then told her about the story and she was like that was you but she couldn't find my name and I'm not telling anyone so she still doesn't know who I am. MHM. It's since been removed however, though it was a fun little story of my now ex's response to being told I was looking to separate. While not all of my actions at the time were entirely honorable it was interesting to be painted as a truly evil person and watch the responses that arrived. Good ol' one sided stories. In 2010 I was charged with a crime that was both very specific and completely bulls. Whenever I was talking about it with people I would be extremely vague. A few years ago I was searching using this crime as a keyboard for a reddit search and I came across a post on reddit by a person who was worried about a roommate who was charged with this crime. This person was me. It honestly wasn't surprising because this girl seemed like the type of person who would be redditing in 2010. She apparently found out about through a third source. Someone posted a conversation overheard at a gay club. The place we were supposed to go for my day decided to have a private party. I was there with my wife and friends and some guy started talking to me and giving me compliments. I told him I am not gay, but I appreciate it because a compliment is still a compliment. That was posted the next day after that party. I've seen a criminal investigation case of mine get a fair bit of attention on here. In the spirit of discretion, I'll refrain from pointing it out specifically. But, in short, some people were pretty pee off about what we did. Some people felt it was justified. Absolutely no one knew the full details of the case. The behavior was reprehensible and dangerous. And my actions were measured and appropriate. Couple years ago I saw a story that sounded just like my last breakup. Checked the user and sure enough it was my ex. Checked out her post history and promptly forgot her name. Didn't care enough I guess. In a thread about weird things teachers did. I saw a guy who claimed his teacher had their son's placenta in a jar. I may or may not know his son. I asked for advice on a relatively obscure topic where I'm an acknowledged expert in my specific narrow end of things. Thought I'd ask in a place with more people and a wider knowledge base was told to go contact myself because I was really the only person likely to know the answer. For years I've posted on reddit with many different accounts. I'd usually use one for a month or two, abandon it and then go to another. Occasionally I stumble across my own posts and the moment of realization is always uncanny. I saw a cheesy pickup line I used on Tinder in an ascredic thread about worst lines on Tinder. I know it was me because no one would ever use that line in real life. Except me apparently. Not a story per se, but I was on one of the music subreddits when the username attached to a comment hit me that is was the exact one that my friend uses for Twitter. I clicked on the account and it was definitely him. How did I know? He works in a vape shop and all of his posts were detailing the different kinds of pieces others could put on their vapes. But the more I read convinced me it was him because of the delivery of his comments. I could practically hear his voice. I looked through more of his profile and came across some interesting subreddits that I now subscribe to. No pee. 
This person from my previous school was bitching about a Valentine's Day fundraiser the club I was the president of hosted. Essentially, people could buy candy and a paper heart for others. One guy decided to buy all the women in his class a candy gram. So, this person bitched about it to me in person. Stating that it was sexist, then the person bitched about it on the class Facebook page, then the person bitched about it on Reddit. It isn't a very exciting story, but there you have it. I only realized because I knew my ex's username, but I was in a thread and saw a comment about how he manipulated me into breaking up with him so that some of our mutual friends wouldn't think less of him. He talked about how he wanted to end it much sooner and couldn't stand the way I acted, but had to make me break up with him. I stalked through his account and saw a bunch of posts. He first said that he didn't know why we broke up and blamed himself, but over time it transitioned into him saying that he wanted the breakup and made it happen on purpose, followed by a lot of nasty stuff, really upsetting all around. He was a nice guy. I've never seen a story about me, but I'm really paranoid and overreactionary to this kind of stuff so I tend to assume every negative story is about me even when the details don't match up. This doesn't happen as much on here, but for instance someone could be telling a story about their obnoxious friend who they really hate who's really annoying and I think omg they're talking about me even though the story will go on to talk about how they're especially bad at some video game I don't play and they live in a state I've never been to so they can't possibly be talking about me, but I still assume they are at first. I'm surprised pleased I've never shown up in a thread about weird people. I was kind of ridiculous in middle school, but I guess not memorable enough. For a brief period of time I was referee to as the 8 ditto guy on our guitar pedals it was a running thing for about one day. Does it count if I only knew it was about me because I knew their username? Someone on an ask sub was asking for advice about a certain situation I had been in with the person answering, and they were offering advice. It was kind of weird to see it from the other side. Either days before Reddit was on a bulletin board and someone had a log of an old if I recall correctly chat where they had a guy reinstall Internet Explorer twice and Windows 95 three times in one night. They told the guy if the chat program turned off when you hit Alt plus F4 that you needed to reinstall Internet Explorer cause there was a major virus, which he did, and again when it still shut down. They decided to up the ante, so they said the whole operating system needed to be done. For an entire day the poor guy was reinstalling Windows on his computer three times. Then he finally gave up for the night and that was the end of the chat log. I was the guy, 11 years old and extremely trusting. Two years later I found that chat log and was furious, as I had actually wiped the computer and did a full reload the next day and stayed off the internet for weeks I case I got another virus. Until I saved up money and bought antivirus software. I never figured out the alt F4 was universal for close window cause after I wiped the hard drive I never downloaded the if I recall correctly chat program that I thought it was a special virus scan feature like the guys on the chat room told me. My ex and I decided to each post about a Saturday we had just spent mainly in bed to the weekly sexual achievement Sunday thread on our sex. Not sure if they still have those threads, since I haven't gone back since. So the idea was to each make a post and then find each other's, since we didn't know each other's reddit usernames. So I post that I had a lot of fun trying out a few new things with each other, and then set out to try and find her post. I eventually found it and I was floored when I read it. She mainly talked about how close she felt during that day and really expressed the emotional side of it well. She was always good at that. But it really made me realize that I was wholly inept at expressing my feelings and emotions in any sort of personal and graceful way. Not on Reddit but, one time in college I had a class with a chick who moderately Tumblr famous. To the point that my GF didn't know her but did follow her on Tumblr. Anyway, one day she posts about the hot curly headed British guy in her history class. I was said guy, the kicker. I'm not British. I was a theater minor in college and played a new character in one class every semester. I was featured in a series of our let's not meet stories. My neighbor was making me and my husband out to be complete psycho stalkers that hate women, but she was completely misrepresenting us. Username checks out. My buddy's wife put a Starbucks card in a nursing textbook with a letter. He mentioned it one day. I totally read that story. 
Yesterday, there was a thread on how to get over your ex. I was browsing the thread because there was plenty of valuable advice over there, until I saw my ex post about me. Of course, he completely glossed over any role he played in the demise of the relationship. He didn't mention how most of our arguments from 2014 to 2015 were about one particular woman, and not each and every woman that wasn't my friend. And he never mentioned his hurtful words about how he'd rather lose me than this new friend. It seemed like he just wanted to vent about me on that thread and actually talk about how to get over an ex. I became upset because I hadn't seen anything from him for a while, since he blocked me on Facebook and elsewhere, and I had no idea that he was still active on Reddit. I really didn't expect to see a post from him. Curiosity got the better of me and I clicked his profile. Yes, stupid move. I know, and then I saw that he'd exaggerated and oversimplified something that I'd said about hanging out with opposite sex friends. Having male friends myself, I didn't say that people in relationships shouldn't hang out with friends of their preferred gender. I stressed to him the importance of setting boundaries. I also said that I wasn't comfy about him hanging out one on one with certain female friends of his. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.